Golden Exotics Limited, a 100% owned subsidiary of the Compagnie Fruitier Group, has subscribed to major international certification standards, of which fair trade is one. Golden Exotics Limited became fair trade certified since 2012 and has since been receiving premium from the sale of fair trade bananas into the fair trade premium committee's account. Since 2012 that the company has been certified, we have been receiving premium for the product sales into fair trade market. For that matter, we have elected the workers who have been managing the money on behalf of the workers. The committee was comprised with 17 elected workers, three management appointees, and one union co opted person. As a premium committee, we meet once every two months. In every meeting, we had a deliberations on projects that we will do. Some of the projects are social projects that will benefit the worker, the worker family, and the community as a whole. Some of the projects being implemented to benefit the workers is a canteen project. By the end of 2017, the Federal Premium Committee spent 273,843 euros on the county project to supply lunch for workers in the farm as well as head office, thermoport and warehouse. One of the projects also that benefit workers was the educational development and support project. Under this project, we provide learning materials to workers who work in the basic schools. We have received items such as school bag and exercise books from Golden Exotic and Fair Trade. The children were not having these exercise books. You hardly have parents coming in to purchase it for them. Some come to school, they don't write. But with these supplies of exercise books, it is improving their standard of uh, education. Those days, we do keep the books in the school, just because adverse weather conditions may damage the books that they are sending home, should there be a rainfall along the line. And therefore, with the supply of school bag, it's also helping the children to take these books back home to show to their parents that this is what we've been doing at school and the homework we are giving. In 2017, since the current government has introduced the free education in the SHS level, we have extended this learning materials project to the new entrance to the SHS 1. Also, subsidize school fees to workers world in the second cycle and then workers pursuing distant course in the tertiary. I'm a beneficiary of the Fair Trade Scholarship. It has benefited me in such a way that I have peaceful money to study without anybody disturbing me to go home for fees to pay. It has also reduced financial burdens on my parents. It makes them to save that money to provide their basic needs for us. It has been my wish to further my education, but sometimes I used to ask myself that if I get to the school, who will support me? The Fair Trade Premium has provided a support and due to that, I've been able to enroll into tertiary education. And now I'm in my final year. Even after my degree, Fair Trade will be there to support me to even do my masters. Fair Trade has the interest of golden exotic workers to help them improve on their livelihood. When I completed senior high school, there was no money to further up to tertiary. So I took a job at Golden Exotic of which I am a process controller. My main responsibility is to ensure that workers follow the right quality standards. Management made us aware of the benefit that comes from fair trade, and I took advantage of benefiting from educational subsidy program. Currently, I'm in Kofodia Technical University, offering HND purchasing and supply science. On the average, 60% of the company's banana exports to the European market are sold under the label Fair Trade. At the end of 2017, 
we have spent 94,595.92 euros on the educational support and development project. The FPC has also purchased seven buses and rented it to the company to help generate additional revenue to the premium we have been receiving. The buses we purchased are two 15-seater buses, one 30-seater bus, and four 60-seater buses. The buses convey the workers to and from the farm within 70 kilometers radius. The premium committee, in consultation with the opinion leaders at Osuwem, agreed that we should put up a vocational center for the community. This will help children who were dropped out so that they can acquire some vocational knowledge. This project is 95% completed and it will be inaugurated in July 2018. Osudoku Secondary Technical requested a science laboratory for their school. This laboratory will help the students have more interest in the pure science subject. Our old science lab was too small to contain us. It was a classroom, but because we don't have science lab, it has been converted to a lab. Whenever we do practicals, they have to group us. A topic that we have to use a day to treat it, we use for about two or three weeks. It delays our time. Because we are not able to complete our syllabus, it affects us in our final examination. With fair trade coming to our aid, by giving us this magnificent lab, we believe it's going to afford our students the opportunity to have more practical lessons. This place is well equipped and it will help us to compete with other science schools in the world. We have also considered Volivo community, Atrobinia community and Astrale community. I'm having a lot of teachers and nurses whereby they don't have accommodation. So with that, uh, I wrote to Golden Exotic Fair Trade Premium Committee for assistance. All of these requests have been made possible for the communities because of the relationship between Golden Exotic Fair Trade Premium Committee and the communities. We realize that the Kasinya community and its everyone are not having portable drinking water. So as part of our social project, we have considered a joint project with Compana Frontier Foundation and then Golden Exotic Limited. The project has already started while the contractor is on site laying the pipes. And we are hoping by the end of this year, that project also will be completed. The Fair Trade Premium Committee received into its account 2012, 209,000 euros, 2013, 343,000 euros, 2014, 653,000 euros, 2015, 1.2 million euros, 2016, 1.08 million euros, 2017, 1.63 million euros. With the review of the standard, which allow workers to enjoy the 20% of the total income of the fair trade premium for each year, workers are so much excited by the FPC distributing an amount of 226,260.70 euros for them in the year 2017. This cash distribution help workers to solve their financial burdens. On behalf of the Fair Trade Premium Committee and the entire Golden Exotics Workers and Management, I wish to express 
my profound gratitude to the fair trade body and our fair trade banana consumers for buying our fair trade bananas to help the disadvantage to improve upon their livelihood. We want to assure our fair trade banana consumers that we are going to work hard to produce the quality of fair trade bananas that they need. Thank you, Fair Trade. Thank you, Fair Trade. Thanks to Fair Trade. In our local dialect, I want to say, Nyechumika!